Good morning. Welcome to CAM Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each day, a staff member will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new chat. My name is Kristen Spangenberg, and I'm curator of prints at the Art Museum. I'm going to talk about one of my favorite rarities in the collection. It is a print by the Dutch 17th century printmaker Hercules Sagers. Now he was an artist who was very experimental with his landscape prints. In fact, he was also a painter and Rembrandt himself was a fan and owned a number of his paintings, as well as he owned a plate which he took half the landscape and changed the subject from Tobias and the Angel to the flight into Egypt. But the print I'm going to talk to you about is the largest print that Hercules Sagers made. He on we only know of 183 prints from 54 plates only 10 are in the United States, two are in Cincinnati, and our town with four towers is one of nine impressions from the plate, but each one is different. Now, with this um, particular subject, um, it's imaginary because Sager's never traveled to Rome or Italy, uh, and so he only was uh, familiar with the flat landscapes around Holland. <clears throat> now, this particular print is very mountainous, and in fact, many of his prints were mountainous and had crags. Uh, it is a combination of architecture. There's a pedimented building right in the center that suggests building from Italy, while at the left uh, in the town is a spire which suggests the Church of the Lady of Amersfoort. Now using uh, color he was able to change the landscape from dawn to dusk from a storm to mist. <clears throat> In this particular print, he chose to print the lines in a dark green over a prepared surface on the paper of a, sort of an olive green. And then he emphasized certain areas with pink washes. So it's it just represents really his experimental nature. And Cincinnati is very fortunate that Herbert Greer French, who was a very important collector for our museum and a trustee, made a bequest of his collection to the museum. And so, as I say, we have one of nine impressions of this print and two of ten prints by the artist in the United States. And, you know, it offers an interesting look at what was happening in Dutch printmaking at the time because Hercules Sagers printed in, and worked in color much like a landscape painting, which he also made, where his contemporaries preferred to work in black and white. 